Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about attachment and what it means when you are too attached to the work, when you're too attached to the end result. So in my experience, and I find this to be true with countless other people, especially those who practice magic. In my experience is that when you hold on to the end result, when you obsess over the work so much, it just delays it. It just keeps it at bay. Like it's not permitted to get out there and do what it needs to do. Like spirit knows that you're obsessing over it, that you are thinking about it all the time. And I made this video not too long ago about stop obsessing over your target and, and so forth. So it's, this video is kind of like the same concept, uh, but it's, it's about letting go. And that's, that's the bottom line. So most of my clients know how to let go or eventually they let go when they give up. So, you know, there's, how do I want to say this? The term giving up, walking away, I'm done with the person because you're frustrated because the spell's not manifesting. Um, it's not the appropriate thing to do. That's, that's not what letting go of the attachment is. And a lot of times when I try to explain this to people to let go of the attachment, they assume that means let go of the idea of like getting the person back or some destruction manner where you've done something to separate a couple and they assume it's they're being told to walk away. And that is not the case at all. That is not what I'm saying. When I say let go of the attachment, let go of the end result, um, you have to live your end result, but you have to let go of that end result. So you, you go to someone or you do the work yourself and all you do is think about the work. All you do is count the days. All you do is look at the clock. Obsession, obsession, obsession. When's it going to work? When's it going to work? When's it going to work? Then you go through the motions and you're crying and your tears and you're blowing me up about the tears. We don't care about the tears, okay? Because you're too attached to the end result is why you're all in your feels. You have to get out of that. And when you learn to let go, it's not letting go of the idea of never being together again or letting go of the person. You're letting go of the spell work. You're letting go of the magic that you did, whether it be yourself or whether it be with someone you hire. So you need to let go because as long as you hold on, spirit does not work. And I have seen this countless of times in my experience where you obsess over it, you think about it, you dwell on it, you're talking about it, you're living it. You could go on 12 hours a day about the same subject again and again and again and again and again. And my experience is the moment that you release that anxiety and that when's it going to happen, when's it going to happen, is the moment that it manifests. So I... I have a past video, I'll link it down in the description below, about the obsession or time frame of a spell. It all depends on you. Like, if you want to obsess over your work, go for it. But that means your work's going to take forever to manifest. And that's fine by me because at the end of the day, it's not my problem. It's not my life. I put the work out there for people, but if you want to sit there and dwell when I tell you not to do something, that's on you. That's your problem. That's not my problem. So the idea is to have peace, inner peace, strength, inner strength. 
not craziness, not, oh my God, when's it going to happen? It's been a week. I haven't heard from him. Things don't happen in a week. Things don't happen in a few days like that. Sometimes, but not always. You have to learn to let go. When you let go, everything will open up. Now again, that is not letting go of the person. It's having peace. As you see the white candle, the white skull candle that's in front of you, that is peace, calm, soothing, knowing that it will manifest, knowing it will come. The blue candles represent healing, peace. And this is the key word. You have to let go of the attachment and have inner peace. Peace of mind. Calm the thoughts. Calm the mind. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to be all right. It will work out the way it is supposed to work out. But as long as you hold on, it will never work out. So, when I say... Let go of the end result. Let go of the attachment. That means let go of counting the clock. Let go of being a clock watcher. Let go of being a calendar watcher. Let go of the, the madness, the craziness in your mind that you are only creating and making it worse. So I just want to make this quick little video to clarify when I tell people to let it go don't sit there in your feels and dwell because when you let go everything will manifest and it may not be that day that you decide to have inner peace it may not be a week it may take another six weeks it may take two months Energy has to shift in order for things to manifest. Things don't happen overnight on your time. I'm sorry to say, and sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but spirit doesn't work on your time. Spirit works on their time. You're working on spirit's time. It's not the other way around. And spirit is not your slave. They're not your um, pimp. They're not your person like a you're not the boss and you're like you're gonna do this it doesn't happen in spirit world because trust me they'll walk away from you so quick and the more you don't trust and the more you clock watch the more spirits gonna say eh, this person isn't worth it they don't trust they don't have faith why should I do anything so let go of the attachment let go of the attachment guys Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel. If you have yet to subscribe, go ahead and do so. And many blessings to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.